The opposition and the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party have been at each other during the phase one of Parliament's budget session. The first part of the budget session ended in commotion. It was complete mayhem. Now the Congress Party has hit out at expunging the remarks of Rahul Gandhi that questioned industrialist Gautam Adani's alleged links with Prime Minister Modi. But a breach of privilege notice is what all eyes will be as Rahul Gandhi has to reply. What's expunged of my remarks in the of the remarks? Ruckus in the Rajya Sabha on Monday over the chairperson's decision to expunge remarks by opposition linking billionaire Gautam Adani's meteoric rise to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Leader of the opposition, I request you, you took the floor. Chairperson Jagdeep Dhankar right away adjourned the proceedings of the Rajya Sabha till March 13th when Parliament meets again. The House stands adjourned to meet on Monday, 13th of March, 2023. So far, portions of speech made by Rahul Gandhi, Kharge and TMC MP Mahua Moitra in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha that cast a cloud on Prime Minister Modi have been removed. The Lok Sabha Secretariat on Sunday issued a privilege notice to Rahul Gandhi. The notice alleges the Congress MP made false, contemptuous, unparliamentary and misleading facts against Prime Minister Modi on Feb 7th. Our Nishkan Dubai Ji has given us the unabhshana, bhegunyad, arob, jo lagate hai. We have to authenticate, to karna padega, authenticate bhi nahi karte hai, aur bhegunyad arob lagate hai. We are all answerable to the people of this country. The Congress has rallied behind Rahul Gandhi, who has to file his response by Wednesday. Look, in the public domain, which everyone says, writes, writes, and you guys say, the same thing they have said, there is no unparliamentary unparliamentary. That's why he will give his job. Meanwhile, Rahul Gandhi has repeated his charges at a rally in Kerala's Vayanad. A few days ago, I gave a speech in Parliament about the relationship between our Prime Minister and Mr. Adani. I spoke in the most, most polite, respectful tone. I spoke about how the rules were changed so that Mr. Adani could get these airports. Earlier, people who did not have experience in running airports were not allowed to participate. And the rules were changed to allow Mr. Adani to participate. With the opposition trying to nail Prime Minister Modi over the Adani scandal and the government rejecting their demand for probe, the two seem to have reached a break point. <laughs> Meanwhile, the government has told the Supreme Court it agrees with the court's suggestion on setting up a committee to study strengthening of regulatory mechanism for stock markets. Bureau report, India Today.